There are major developments tonight in the investigation of that Alaska Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 9 jet that suffered a mid-air depressurization and loss of an entire door window assembly called a door plug over Portland, Oregon on Friday. United Airlines, the only other U.S. operator of the MAX 9, reports inspections of its aircraft have found instances of issues in the door plugs, including bolts that needed additional tightening. Also tonight, we're getting our first look at the door plug section that separated from the Alaska jet, falling into a residential backyard after leaving a gaping hole in the plane's cabin, enforcing an emergency landing. With MAX 9s temporarily grounded for urgent inspections, flight cancellations are mounting as Boeing and a major supplier fall under intense scrutiny. Tom Costello has the breaking news. Breaking tonight, United Airlines reports it has found loose bolts in some of its 737 MAX 9 door plugs as both United and Alaska Airlines conduct FAA-ordered inspections on all MAX 9s in the U.S. Earlier today, the NTSB recovered the missing 63-pound door plug that blew out of the side of that Alaska Airlines MAX 9 Friday night, landing in a teacher's backyard. The plug will undergo a close inspection at the NTSB lab in Washington as investigators look at how and why the plane suffered a decompression explosion at 16,000 feet. Alaska, 1282, we just depressed we're declaring emergency, we need to descend down to 10,000. While no one was seated in the nearest seats, those seats were left twisted and bent. The headrests and cushions sucked out of the plane along with clothing and cell phones. Nicholas Hoke was on board the plane. I was starting to text my my girlfriend, my my mom, my other loved ones, and um, didn't know if I was going to make it on the other side. It was a uh, a lot of intense emotions, for sure. The door plug that failed is held in place by bolts and pins used to seal an extra emergency exit if airlines don't need it. The NTSB says on three previous flights, pressurization warning lights lit up in the same plane. Yet Alaska only restricted the plane from flying over water to Hawaii until technicians could evaluate the problem. It's early, but should Alaska have grounded the plane back then? Certainly it should have it's been a warning sign to them, for just on safety overall. But I think, you know, in this case, uh, what Alaska will say is that they took measures uh, to ensure safety, we have to see whether uh, those actions uh, were responsive or not enough. The plane's fuselage is made for Boeing by Wichita-based Spirit Aerosystems. Today, Spirit said our primary focus is the quality and product integrity of the aircraft structures we deliver. Boeing today issued inspection guidelines for every airline that flies the MAX 9. As the FAA reiterated, the MAX 9s will remain grounded until airlines complete enhanced inspections, which include both left and right cabin door exit plugs. That takes four to eight hours each. Corrective actions must be completed before any plane returns to service. Meanwhile, Boeing's CEO has called a company-wide Tuesday meeting to focus on safety. This MAX 9 emergency comes after two fatal MAX 8 crashes that grounded the plane, loose bolts on the MAX rudder system, production and quality control delays with the MAX 8, the 787, military planes, and Boeing's space program. Even an incident like this that doesn't involve any injuries or fatalities does serve to undermine, to some degree, the confidence in Boeing's ability to manufacture a safe aircraft. United and Alaska have canceled more than 300 flights again today, likely more cancellations tomorrow. Lester. And Tom, what's the status of the flight recorders, the black box recordings? Yeah, the cockpit voice recorder is on a two-hour loop before it's erased and recorded over, and that's what happened. Investigators can't listen to crew conversations, computer warnings, the air rushing through the cabin. It's a big reason why investigators want a 25-hour recording, not two hours. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.